for that. And in Lansing, members of the legislature were being sworn in when this news hit. And 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Alvin was there, and he joins us now to gauge the response of those who represent the area. Rick? We talked with a lot of legislators, and some of them already knew about these cuts. Others learned about it as the day went on. But it isn't new in Lansing. In fact, in Lansing, they've been dealing with this kind of bad news for a long time. But there does seem to be a resolve to try to stem the tide of job loss. It reminds us that we've got no time to waste. Uh, we've got to get to work here to create a good job climate in Michigan so our businesses and our businessmen and women can stay here, grow and expand here uh, so our residents have good paying jobs. My commitment to the people who may lose their job is that we'll put all resources in to help them find additional work. What can the new administration do, what can the new legislature do to try to maintain the jobs that are in this? There's not just one thing. We have a business climate problem here in the state of Michigan, and that's going to require a series of good decisions over the coming year. But we don't have long, so we have to start now. Now, the idea that the governor and the legislature will work quickly on whatever plan it is that he comes up with is pretty much universal. But we'll have to wait and see what that plan is. We'll find out more about that a week from tonight at the State of the State and tomorrow when I sit down with the governor and talk to him about his plans to try to keep jobs like the ones lost today. Back to you. Thank you, Rick. We have much more on the job losses, including a history of previous cuts made at Steelcase. You can check that out online at woodtv.com.